also known as planet Earth, is full of so much life. Plants, animals, trees, birds, flowers, insects, and of course, us. And since most of us live and spend our time on land, it's easy for us to think most life in general exists on land. It's where we live and it's what we see every day. Just look outside. You probably see a lot of land right now too. But if we take a step back, we can see our planet Earth is actually more water than it is Earth. The ocean is a whole world that is just as important to our lives as land is. Take a look. All of the blue parts on this map of our planet are water. So as you can see, the ocean makes up most of our planet's surface. And it is also responsible for 99% of the living space on Earth, also known as Earth's biosphere. So out of all of the places where plants and animals live, the ocean is the largest by far. So what does all of this mean? It means the ocean is huge, like really, really huge. And something so gigantic must be important, right? The ocean can feel like it's a whole other world. Just look at these colorful and interesting creatures that live there. And did you know that we have explored very little of it? Less than 5% actually. And if you think this is cool, just imagine how much more there is to learn about this magical place. On the surface of the ocean, we can see seals, dolphins, and sometimes whales. But that's nothing compared to what's under the surface. The ocean is full of so many interesting sea creatures. Fast fish. Slow fish. Big fish. And teeny tiny fish. And plants like seaweed, coral, sea anemones, and so much more. Did you know the ocean has a lot of the same features that land has? Some of the world's largest mountains, volcanoes, and waterfalls can be found in the sea. Even lakes and rivers exist in the ocean, when heavier salt water sinks under lighter, less salty water. That's kind of crazy to think about, right? With the ocean covering over 70% of Earth's surface and being home to so much life, it's no wonder it's so valuable to our lives on Earth. In fact, we couldn't survive without the ocean. We need the ocean just as much as the sea creatures that live there. But why? The truth is, more than half of the oxygen that you and I breathe comes from the ocean. No matter how far away you live from the coast. Marine plants like seaweed, algae, and tiny microscopic organisms called phytoplankton go through the process that trees go through to transform carbon dioxide, what we breathe out, into oxygen, what we breathe in. The ocean also influences the weather and helps to evenly distribute heat around the world. It does this by absorbing heat and energy from the sun and like a conveyor belt, moving the warm water and rain from warm tropical areas to cooler areas like the poles and the other way around too. That way, neither place is too hot or too cold. If we didn't have the ocean, many places on Earth would have extreme temperatures that we wouldn't be able to live in. The ocean also provides us with delicious seafood and a variety of minerals, the most recognizable being salt. The ocean allows us to travel to different countries and continents, and it loves to play with us too. Sailing, surfing, swimming, kite surfing, parasailing. There are so many fun sports you can do in the ocean. So just like the ocean takes care of us, we have to take care of it. 
because a healthy ocean is crucial to the health of Earth, which allows us to be healthy on land. And lately, humans have not been taking good care of our ocean, so it needs our help to stay healthy and keep life on land, in the air, and in the sea healthy too. Today I had a chance to visit the Pacific Ocean with my nieces Ella and Melania. We had a great time running, jumping, and playing in the waves. We even found a few sea creatures like these starfish and some snails living on the rocks. We got to experience the ocean's great beauty and power, but we also noticed that something was out of place. Plastic bottles were washing ashore, and there was trash sticking out of the sand. When we really started to look, we found so many other things that don't belong in the ocean. We filled up an entire sack. And this is what we found. So what can we do to better protect our one and only ocean and keep it in good condition? If you see trash either on the beach or anywhere really, pick it up. Because much of the trash that is left on the ground makes its way through storm drains and out to the ocean where fish and other sea creatures mistake it for food. You can also prevent more trash from going into the ocean by reducing, reusing, and recycling things you usually throw away. You could also use plastic alternatives. Bring in your own reusable jars or containers. And instead of using a plastic straw once and throwing it away, you could use a metal or glass straw many times and help the ocean while you do. But more than anything, remember the ocean. Just because you can't see it all the time doesn't mean it's not important to our daily lives. The ocean is beautiful and bigger than we can really understand. It is home to billions of creatures and it is responsible for much of the air we breathe, the temperatures we live in, and so much more. The ocean is important to our lives on land and we only have one. So reduce, reuse, recycle, and go say hi to the ocean. Give it a hug and let it know you really care. Next, we're gonna make some pieces on the wheel, a pottery technique called rowing. Oren and Fiona are gonna help me out since I've never done it before. We cut the slab of clay into even pieces and just like last time, we begin pounding out the corners and wedging the clay into a ball. Oren helps to clean off the wheel. We then have to find the center. Oren does this by dipping his finger in the water and placing it lightly on the bat as it spins. The bat is that black plate we throw the clay on. And we spin the bat by stepping on this pedal. The more you press down, the faster it will spin. We try our best to put the ball of clay directly in the center of the bat. If the clay isn't centered in the beginning, it will be much more difficult to make your pottery piece and the clay can even spin off the wheel, which can be dangerous. Robin helps us to center the clay using a technique of pulling it into a cone See, it's a cone? and pushing it down. And then we're gonna cone. Subscribe to watch the rest of this video and so many more.